out here in Arizona with the Texas League MVP for 2017, Mr. Matt Beatty. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, Stephen. Now, talk about it. And we were just talking about it a couple minutes ago. Did you expect at the beginning of the season to be the MVP? I mean, could you envision that when the season began? I mean, like I said, I knew I had had the talent. I know I had the talent to, you know, compete at every level that I play. But, I mean, I had a slow start in AA this year. I was probably hitting 200 through the first month. Um, so things were a little rough then. But I don't know. I just kind of stuck with the approach that I had and the plan. And, uh, you know, things turned around for me. And, it, it, I mean, it turned out to be a great season. Now, I know you say you kind of traditionally are a slow starter a little bit at the plate during the season. Was it that that turned for you, or was there something mechanically that you just, you know, turned the corner with that? Uh, I mean, not necessarily mechanically. I think more talking to uh, Termel Sledge, our hitting coach, and, you know, finding what approach works best for me and my swing, and we really hit on that. Um, Garko, our coach in AA, gave me a couple days off in a row, and, you know, I really hit home with, with, uh, with Sledge and talking about the game a lot, talking about my approach at the plate, and... I think things turned around for me after I had a three-hit game. I think it was a couple days before my birthday in April, and at that moment I was like, okay, yeah, I belong. I can compete here. And, you know, I didn't really look back ever since that, that game. I certainly didn't look back after that game. MVP of the Texas League. We talked, I think it was the end of January, beginning of February, about what you wanted to accomplish during the season. You certainly did that, and that was to increase the production of the home runs and the doubles. I mean, could you ask for anything more this season, right? Yeah, no, like, like you said, I, I wanted to increase the extra base hits, uh, increase my launch angle. Um, and doing that and, and, and increasing the launch angle, that's going to, you know, ground balls to second base are going to turn to line drives in the gap. So that, you know, that really, I mean, it, it showed this season that, you know, I hit 31 doubles, 15 home runs. So I increased my numbers and that average launch angle just went up this year. Absolutely, absolutely. Talking about the year, it's feel long at this point. Arizona Fall League, honored to be here. But are you t are you tired? No, it's. I mean, it's definitely a great honor to be here um, and to play with this competition level that's here. It, it, it's a lot of fun. So you try not to think about how tired you are. Um, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit tired, but I mean, it, it's playing baseball. So I'm just having a blast and you know trying to soak it all in. Hometown Atlanta, are you going back there uh, for the off season? What are your plans? Oh, the, the plans this off season actually is my wife and I. We just we uh, got a six month lease out here in Arizona, so I'm going to use the resources here, um, just be right here, use Camelback Ranch, go in, hit with uh, some of the hitting coaches that might be around, and work with the strength coaches that are going to be here. So, looking forward to that. Awesome, awesome. Sounds like the off season is uh, more work for you, Matt Beatty. Thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate you. Man. Right. Thank you, Stephen.